And so what we've got left is entirely just um, crumbs. So what we're going to take now is a flaxseed. Now flaxseed, or linseed, which is also as it's known, is a secret in the free from baking world because it acts as a great egg replacement. This is the milled kind of flaxseed which you can get pre-ground pre, um, up, or alternatively you can mill your own if you can't get a hold of this one. So I'm not even gonna bother with a bowl. I want as little washing up as possible. So we're going straight into the pot here that's gonna be going on to our stove top. I've got about 230 grams of a dairy-free margarine. Now, if dairy-free is not your bag, you can of course use butter, but a dairy-free margarine is a great option because it means lactose intolerant people, people who avoid dairy, will still be able to have some of this great goodness. So I've got about 230-ish grams, give or take, it's not gonna hurt anyone. Alrighty here, so we're just gonna melt down our um, our margarine and our sugar here until it becomes a nice liquid. So you want to get it down to this melty consistency, so it's all sort of come together a little bit. And once that's happened, we're gonna pour in about 90 grams of a cocoa powder. If you need to sieve, make sure you sieve beforehand. Now, we can't forget, of course, to add in our flaxseed mixture. This is gonna help everything stay together and bind together once it cools down. of custard and vegetable margarine and a little bit of soy milk in there and we're going to pop it into the mixture. Now of course you can do this by hand, I just don't really like the mess. now is we're going to work on the top layer of the Nanaimo bars by melting down some chocolate. So what I've got here is about, ah, about 300 grams of a dairy-free chocolate chip. You can use regular chocolate chips. You can melt down proper big huge blocks of chocolate. It's up to you. But I'm going to do something that bakers never do. Do you see boiling water anywhere? No boiling water. I'm going straight in.